Hello everyone, how's everyone doing today? This is Matt, aka the Nucleus Cyborg, and it is currently, it is October 10th, and it is 11.59 in the uh, morning, afternoon, so this is noonish, noonish, <laughs> not afternoon, but noon right now. So, uh, if you uh, notice, uh, uh, I have got a little sun, a little tan, uh, I recently got back from uh, vacation, either last night or technically early this morning i didn't get home until after midnight uh so late night early very early morning take your pick but it was it was a very nice vacation uh we went down to saint rosa beach florida and there we just hung out at a hotel and we got a whole private ho uh, hotel with the head that had a private beach and a pr couple uh, two private pools so it was pretty nice uh, it was overcast. Yes, we had a lot of rain while, while we were down there. It's funny, the last two days that we were there, the day, the day that, our last day, and then the day that we were leaving, actually, the temperature started to go up, the sun started to come out, naturally, as we were leaving. But we got some pockets in there of nice weather, so we had, we still had fun. Uh, and like I said, the, you know, it was a vacation a planned vacation with no plan, which is, you know, as I get older, that is kind of like the vacations that I like. Vacations with no plans. Vacations where you just go, and the plan is to relax, have fun. So, anyway, uh, we were there. Uh, the family went down to the beach, the private beach, I don't know, about four or five times while we were down there. I only went once down to the beach. I, uh, I think I've discovered that the beach is not really my thing. I don't like the sand. Uh, I found it really hard to walk on sand. It's funny because I am from Miami, so I remember as a little kid, uh, oh, you know, going to the beach all the time, walking on the sand and, and whatnot. But, I mean, I guess living in Kentucky for years, most of my adult life, is I guess I just don't have sea legs anymore, beach legs anymore. And so, you know, Going down into the softer sand, it's really tough for me to walk because it's so soft. Your your feet just sinks right into the sand, and then that where the the beach actually comes in, where the waves actually come in and kind of like flatten that moist part right between the the dry, fluffy, and then you have that strip that that little strip where the sea comes in and uh, kind of packs down the sand. Actually, there I can walk pretty well. But then, right the, uh, a few inches into the water, it's like really gets the sands really sand really gets soggy, and so my feet again sink right down into the sand. It's just really hard for me to walk. I still, like I said, I still had fun, but I don't think the beach is really my thing. But I still had fun. So while I was down there, though, I had a lot of time to just sit and relax and watch YouTube videos, watch videos, and all that other stuff, and so, something I did, which, which I have constantly told myself that Matthew, uh, Matthew, you need to stop doing this, because I need to stop watching fragrance reviews, review videos on YouTube, because, I mean, that's just what I, what I ended up doing when I have nothing else to do, watching a lot of fragrance review, review videos, and other things on YouTube, and I need to stop doing that because, I mean, a couple of months ago, I tried to actually limit my fragrance collection. I had, at the time that I started to, I guess, downsize my collection, I had about 25, 26 fragrances in my collection. And it just dawned on me that, you know, Matthew, this is a nice collection, but you just can't really wear all these fragrances. Uh, so, yes, some get used more than others. Some get used on you know a little bit, or actually not at, not at all. And I'll be showing you actually in a few minutes one that is hardly used or not at all. But like I said, my you know so many fragrances. How are you supposed to wear them all? You need more of. I think you need more Matthew. I think you need more uh, limited and kind of like signature fragrances, if that makes sense. And so I narrowed it down to 15. I, I, I tried to narrow it, narrow it down to 10. But honestly, I love every single fragrance in my collection. Right over here, right, beyond my finger here, so that way, 
off camera is my walk-in closet and in my walk-in closet i keep it dark and i like it cool in my house right now it's technically it's currently set on 68 degrees uh so like i said i like it cold so that is a perfect spot for my cologne, cologne collection right there in my walk-in closet where it's the dark and cool so all right so moving on to what i actually did i watched this video from michella curly i think i said that right michella not michelle michella curly curly fragrances is her channel and it was make them fall for you some fall fragrances their top her top 10 fall fragrances that she was that she said that you know men should have uh in their collection for this fall make women fall for you and really i'm still looking for that i am i have a lot of good fragrances but i'm still looking for that fragrance that will make women fall for 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 me uh i get compliments all the time at work actually i do uh but they are from older and married women so it, it it's nice to have compliment but it technically doesn't count because this is coming from a married woman or an older woman i'm talking about you know that should be retired women older women like that and so it's that's nice but you know still looking for that fragrance that'll capture me that one you know spicy senorita as uh, alpha m says on, on youtube but anyway there was her actually her top three picks i ordered on while i was on vacation two of them have arrived I'm still waiting on the third one so I'm gonna go over those two uh, I'm gonna start with the one that I actually don't have and actually this was her top Michelle Curley's top fall fragrance this is called uh, gentleman by Gavinci I've seen this one I said I had so many nice fragrances so many of my what I call sig my, my signature fragrances in my cl closet that you know again I, I didn't w really want to, to buy anymore because you know it, it's not waste wasting money I you know I like fragrances I like to smell good so people at work I have people at work that you know I pass by luckily I, I sit in a corner and uh and do my job but I, I any time that I'm up there are people that I pass by at work and they uh I'm like take a bath buy a bar of soap you know but anyway so this is the box i just uh actually this was either delivered last night or early this morning so uh i i think it was early this morning because uh today yeah it was uh, uh i just got back like i said i got back either last night or this morning so this morning when i got up i had a lot of things to do because i got to go back to work tomorrow so uh one of the things i had to do was i had to go pick up my dog first uh from the pet resort that i left him at while i was on vacation and so i brought him home and then i had to go to uh the groceries i i, I ate pretty much everything tried to get my pantry and refrigerator cleaned out before i left on my vacation to try to get most of the food out and then um uh, so I went to the grocery and then when I got back from the grocery to pull into my garage the the delivery box that this came in what was sitting there uh, by my garage so I think it was technically this this morning that it came which is kind of which is funny because it's Sunday uh, some some uh, place or some things are still are running out there was a D DHL sir uh, mail service and I think uh, FedEx might be doing it now but yeah that's a, like a new thing that's a that's uh becoming more and more uh modern uh modern or uh convenient natural what's the word i'm looking for you know it, it's becoming more common common there you go that's the word i'm looking for common for you know uh postal services to deliver on to deliver on sunday anyway so Givenchy gentlemen and i just I usually throw away the boxes, but like I said, if I was, I was able to hop on today and do a, a, a video, I wanted to keep the box. So, the box is nice. It's it's, uh, it's black. It's uh, got this little uh, strip strip on the top side that uh, 
you know, on the front says, given to gentlemen, and then it says, uh, Ode Perfume, EDP on there, so, um, and then on the bottom, it has all the barcodes and the information, uh, can't read, um, it can't read all the small writing, so maybe I can read it, uh, read the read from the bottle itself but uh this is the only one that i was able to find a big bottle of all the the two other ones the, uh, the one that hasn't arrived yet and the one that i'll show you in a few minutes in, in a minute uh i had to get uh the smaller sizes I, I just couldn't find them and this was the actually this was the only one out of the three that i was able to find on uh fragrancenet.com which is where i go to buy my fragrances so I'll just set the box to the side. So, this is the bottle. I really like the design of the bottle because, um, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's black at the top and it runs down all this way and then uh, it shows you at the bottom here, you know, kind of like, like I dipped it in wax or something like that and it like spewed down and then dried right there or something like that. It looks really neat. Uh, I believe this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. Let me see if I can... Get some light on this, or or my mag or magnetize it. Read the read the bottom. Uh, small writing is really really bad for me. I, I, uh, okay, so oh, it's upside down. There we go. That might help. So yeah, eau de perfume, one hundred ml. So three point three fluid ounces, made in France. Parfums, Parfums Da Vinci, Paris. Okay, so that's what it says on the bottom. So, th so 3.3 ounce bottle. It's very nice. I like how the cat, the cat like really, really sticks. It takes a, takes a little, takes a little muscle or not muscle, but a little oomph to pull the cap off. All right, so uh, I don't know. Let's uh, first impression. Let's see how this smells. So grab the box, and I'll just spray into the box. So three sprays. Ooh. Very nice. I like that. Very nice. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so, uh... So I was just going through my collection, rearranging my collection this morning. That's something else that I did this morning and uh, moved my spring and warm weather fragrances to the back um, and moved my fall cold weather fragrances to the front. And I got more, I have more sweet, see, what, what was it? Uh, Jeremy Fragrance, he goes, it's fresh and clean or sweet and sexy. So I got more sweet and sexy fragrances in my collection than I do fresh and clean. Oh, this is very nice. What are the notes? Let's see, since I got this on fragrance.net, I might be able to pull it up real quick. So, Givenchy, Gentleman, Eau de Parfum. Okay, brand and product description. Here we go. So, a clean and scintillating fragrance of Gentleman is an exuberant scent from the design house of Givenchy. The masculine fragrance features top notes of bergamot. Bergamot? Really? You know, my nose is really my, the best of my uh, five main fragrances, but... No, I don't smell... Wait a second. Yes. Yes, I do get it. I do, I do smell the bergamot. Okay, so we got bergamot... Black pepper and lavender. I smell the lavender. That's what gives it the smooth, uh, captivating and uh, sensual. I'm not sure if I sp ah well yes I get that little spice so that has to be the black pepper. Oh, yes very nice that's very nice okay so. The heart is a captivating with notes of cinnamon yes I smell the cinnamon clove and orris, the base is, the say that but orris o r r i s i s. The base is strong and enveloping with notes of tonka bean, patchouli, black vanilla husk, and tulu 
Balz, Balzan. Hope I said that right. I'm not a, I'm not a critic here. So fragrance critic. I'm just a cons uh, your basic your average basic consumer. So yeah, very nice. And this was her top Michelle Curley's top fragrance. If you watch, if you find that fragrance on on YouTube, you can go. It's a make women fall for, or yeah, make make them fall for you, make women fall for you, something like that. So yeah, this is a good one. This will be nice to wear to work. Oh, like I said the box will get thrown away now. I don't, I I don't keep the boxes. All right, so there we go. Put the box aside. Okay, the next fragrance, this was either, I think this was rated number two on on Michelle Curley's uh, top ten fall fragrance list. This is Le Nuit de la Homme, Yves Celerant Blue Electric. I have the original. So, as you can see, this is, like I, I said earlier, about fragrances that hardly get used or not used at all. You can see, this is pro this bottle is probably about three years old. And you see how little of it I've used. I've started something I didn't do. I haven't done. I just actually I just started last night. Some people, some other fragrance critics say that they put fragrance on at night when they go to bed. I didn't see the point of that because I was like, well, you want to smell it, smell it, but act, but smell have other people smell, smell you. But what's the point in putting it on at night? But then I was like, well. So you can smell yourself. I mean, I, I, since I already said I love fragrances myself, that's why I collect them. I want to smell good. And I also have trouble sleeping, so possibly the, uh, you know, the frag fragrances that can help me, help lull me to sleep and keep me to sleep. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Excuse me. So this is Le Nuit de la Home, uh, the, ri the original. This is not the intense. This is the original bottle. Our original fragrance this is my favorite fragrance and again it doesn't get used that often because it, it's just so good it needs to be used in the right place which is like date a date or something like that let me see 17 minutes so I can keep going for a little bit uh, but this is really good so I sprayed two sprays on each side of my pillow last night and sprayed about seven on my body last night and I'm not sure if it helped me sleep or not, but I mean, I went to bed. It was about 12, 30, 1 o'clock before I got to sleep, got in bed last night. And so, and then I woke up about this morning, about 8, 30, because like I said, that's, that's just uh, my internal clock or whatever. But, okay, so I have the original. And this is the blue electric. And like I said, uh, the, 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 the Gavinci gentleman was the only one I was able to find a big bottle of. So this is only a 20 fluid ounces, 60 ml bottle. Actually, this might be good. I'm actually thinking about starting to get the smaller sizes because, as, I, as I've already just shown you, this is, well, this right here, does it say, on, does it say anywhere on the bottle? I mean, this is probably a 3.3 .3 ounce bottle or 3.4 ounce bottle. Let me see. There is a little something on the bottom here. Made in France. Huh. Wow. Photo toilet. Uh, I can't find the. Uh, how big? Uh, how much it has inside? But again, this is probably a three point three or three point four ounce bottle, the big bottle. And so, like I said, it hardly gets used. And this is like most of my other fragrances. Once again, once you're getting so many different fragrances in a collection, it's a, it grows and it's a nice collection. But again, some of them don't get used as often or not at all. And so, hopefully, I'll be I'll be able to get this down a little bit uh, using it uh, at nighttime. Put that one aside. So we have this one here, La Nuit de la Home. Yves Celerant Blue Electric. And this, I think she said, was rated number two in her list. All right, let's get the box. I'll keep, keep it open, spray inside. Okay, so... 
just the whole one. One, two, three. Wow. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Let me see if I can. I found this one. What, what did I get, uh, purchase this one from? I didn't get this one. I got, think I got it from Macy's. Let me see. Yes. I bought this from Macy's.com. Uh, let me see. I don't know if it has a description on it. Okay, I'm on the website. Okay, uh, here we go. Product details. The new Taylor Home Blue Electric Old Twilight Spray is a fresh men's fragrance that blends a warm and spicy cardamom with fragrant floral notes of lavender and geranium. The clone is a most intense twist on the classic, yes, I can say, on the classic Lanua de la Home. Yes, yes, it's a twist. It's an intense twist, creating a modern and sensual men's fragrance. The bottle design of Lanua de la Home takes on a new color, uh, electric neon blue. The, amplifi the amplified electric blue juice invokes the elict, elict, L. I L L I C I T elect neon light of an underground party and freedom of thrill seekers. So keynotes are cardamom, lavender, and geranium. Yes, yes. Wow. This is very nice. Again, almost too nice. Almost too nice to wear out in public. This has to be used in the right spot. Oh, very nice. Oh, wow, this is so nice. Oh, all right, so let's close this, and then we'll do it on the outside of the box with the old one. So, so this is the regular. I love this fragrance. I've always loved this fragrance. I got this about three years ago. I get like I said early, again. So let's just spray it. One, two, three. It's hard to tell, guys. I am going to say that I like the Blue Electric a lot better. Whew. My gosh, man. Great fragrances. So, thank you, Michelle Curley, for recommending these. Uh, very good. Now, the other one, the third one, it hasn't arrived yet. Uh, again, uh, it's, it's hard for me to find. Uh, let's see. I got it from sweetcare.com. Uh, it's import uh, the, the Emporial Armani Stronger With You Absolutely Eau de Parfum uh, 50 ml bottle is what I bought purchased. I had the original Stronger With You uh, by Emporio Armani and again it doesn't get used that often because I think that fragrance needs to be used as it's a nice fragrance. You have to dress nice. Church, weddings, uh, Things like that. Special parties, Christmas parties. Mm -hmm. It is a fall. For, it is a, I would say, a fall fragrance, cold weather, for, cooler weather fragrance. So, yes, maybe even Halloween parties, stuff like that. So, that's that, guys. I just wanted to drop uh, a quick video. Uh, so, I added just added more two new fragrances to my collection. And these are also, these are all awesome. I like, the, I like them both. This is, I have to say, is better, is a little bit better, smells a little bit sexier, sensual, than the regular, uh, I like them both, though, uh, um, than the, the regular Lanua Taylor Home. Another thing that I like is that it's, the, the juice in here is blue. I, I like that. I like fragrances with the juice inside, is, it has a color. Most of these... 
Most of these fragrances are clear. Why are they all they clear? Yes, they have some of the uh, same uh, ingredients inside uh, uh, fragrance notes, but but why are most of why are most of them clear? Uh, the the original La, La Nuit de La Home is kind of what uh, I'm not sure. It's it, it's not clear. It's I don't know I don't know how to describe it. But but I mean, but yeah, it's got co it's got color. These two have color, and yet uh, a a lot of a lot of other ones plus this Gavinci gentleman right here are all clear. I don't get that. Why frequencies have color and some don't? Anyway, that's that. It is currently twelve thirty, and I have been speaking for twenty five minutes. So uh, they probably would be shorter the videos if I did one at a time. But I just wanted to go ahead and do 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 them both, uh, and I'll do another video when the uh, uh, "Stronger with You" by Emporio Armani absolutely comes in. So, like I said, the boxes are going to get thrown away. Those are two new fragrances for my collection. Uh, I'm going to rearrange my fragrance collection again. Uh, as I told you, as I told you at the beginning, uh, I just got back today uh, from vacation, so uh, it's Sunday. I actually did not even though i got up in time or woke up in time i actually did not go to church this morning uh i am not too uh i'm not feeling too guilty about that because like i said i have a lot i had a lot to do to get ready uh for tomorrow and i'll, I'll probably see if i can go to the evening for uh, evening service tonight which is at uh uh which is at five so that's that if you guys uh, liked the video please uh comment like, subscribe to my channel. I've been trying to get subscribers. I don't know what to do. I've offered giveaways. Uh, possibly, you know, I, I do everything on one channel. I don't do... I, I talk Star Wars a lot. And I talk fragrances a lot. And I talk about some other things. And I do it all in one, all in one place. One channel. I don't have a fragrance channel. I don't have a Star Wars channel. And then a... Uh, miscellaneous channel I just do it all in one so you know this maybe uh, okay so now uh, so I could probably do that so since I'm talking about fragrances maybe I'll do this you know if I reach if I reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, I will pick somebody, and I will send them. I will send them this one right here, La Nuita La Home Blue Electric. Okay, so that's a, that's an offer right there. Please subscribe. It only takes a few minutes. I'm trying to build a following here myself. Yes, no, or excuse me, no, I'm not a professional here. I'm a, an average consumer. You know uh, the people like uh, that I look at, look up to here on YouTube. Alpha M, uh, Michelle Curley, uh, she's rec a recently new one that I've started to watch a lot lately. Uh, Jeremy Fragrance, let me see. Uh, no, there's, I know there's others. Uh, I mean, there's several others that I I, I look at as um, YouTube YouTube video makers. Me, I'm just doing this on my uh, MacBook Pro here, and I'm, you know, I'm in my master bedroom. And if you've seen any of my other videos, that sometimes I have a bit different back backdrop. Uh, sometimes I film in my uh, spare bedroom. That's usually when I'm talking about Star Wars stuff, and I have a Star Wars picture here. I'm just talking about. I just talk about fragrances, and uh, since my closet is right over there, off camera. You know, I'm like, you know, grab them over there and come right here to my master bedroom. And and then Cinderella Castle. If you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I'm a huge Disney fan and Star Wars fan, which is Star Wars is, is technically owned by the Disney World Company. So, big Disney fan all around. And like I said, from my, uh, one of my Star Wars videos that I, I offered one of those red kyber crystals from walt disney world and walt Dis uh, disneyland 
uh, you know, from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So, fragrance, if I, if I do it on fragrance, uh, I'll send, uh, comment, comment down below, or comment on that. If you do subscribe, comment, you know, I liked your fragrance video, or, or I liked your Star Wars video. That way I know which offer, or which offer, once I reach that thousand subscribers, to send out, you know, if you just subscribed and I picked you and, you know, you were like, I sent you this, but you were like, I wanted the copper crystal. Well, and then, or, or if I sent you the copper crystal and you were like, no, I wanted this, I wanted a cologne, uh, just comment down below. So, like, comment, and subscribe. It only takes a few minutes, and I very much appreciate it. Try to build a following. Anyway, I'm almost at, thir oh, just reached 30 minutes. So, I'm going to stop this video, uh, uh, upload it, and uh, so, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. You all have a uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. <clears throat> thank you for watching. Peace.